Actually, let's let's do some reading because sometimes that brings out vocabulary that and sounds that might be challenging. So do this next paragraph. And in addition to that, and in, I'm sorry. In <laughs> and in addition to that, it's been predicted that at the end of the century, almost all of the languages that exist now, there are about six thousand, will no longer be spoken. There will only be some hundreds left and on top of that is it's at the point where instance translation of live speech is not only possible but it gets better every year mm -hmm. okay good so the thing that i'm hearing that kind of standing out to me right now that i want you to kind of go back and review is the ending sounds okay ending okay. sounds of words specifically the t's and d's we want to make sure that you're not dropping the ending sounds, but connecting it. Okay, so remember in the linking lesson where we talked about just kind of moving from one word to the next. So instead of N of, I kind of heard of N, I heard N of, where there wasn't much of a D. I want you to jump off of that D. So end of. End of. And, and. End of the century. Yep. Of the century. Mm hmm. The point where, the point where, so it's not going to get a strong T, like release of the T, because we're going to kind of move into that next uh, consonant there, but we do have to get it in position, because I heard more point where, point okay. where, yep. Okay, so uh, the point where. Mm -hmm, the point where, so we have to get that connection for the T, even if it's just a small connection. And the same thing was that, uh, but it, but it. But it, but it gets better every year. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So those ending sounds, T's and D's ending sounds, be aware of that. In your, um, in your conversational speech, um, be aware of the TH sound. Okay. Making sure that that stays strong. Have you noticed that in your, in your conversation at all with the TH? TH sound or just the unvoiced TH sound? Um, so what I'm hearing, the, you know, the D is close to the TH sound. So sometimes I'm hearing more of a D sound instead of the TH sound. And that's usually more of the voiced TH mm -hmm. sound. Um, so those common words, this, that, those, them, this, that, those, them, do that for me. This, that, those, them. This, that, those, then. Mm -hmm. Do that. that, and that is an exercise that would be really helpful for you in being able to get that tongue out for the, 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 the this, that, those, them, the, 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 <laughs> 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 and just kind of doing that in repetition, um, kind of helps train the tongue. Okay. Yes. The, 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 something like that. Correct. Exactly. The, this, uh, that, those, them, the, 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 this, uh, that, those, uh, them. The, the, the. <laughs> yes. That, that's a good one. That's, that's, yeah. that's a good exercise. Uh, to practice. Yeah. Because those are those common words that come up all the time that we're probably, you know, you're kind of pulling, probably pulling back to the D sound a little bit more than, um, than pulling out. So uh, go back and just kind of practice that a little bit more, okay? Okay. What I feel sometimes with uh, the Z, for example, mm -hmm. in schools, is that it sounds more like more like an S sound. Mm -hmm. You know? Instead yeah. Of a, it's and not some, that strong. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. Actually, there's an, uh, a lesson, the S and Z lesson. I think it's in the, it's definitely in the bonus lessons, but we've also plugged it into the module one where module one or module two, where it talks the difference between S and Z. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, go into those lessons. Those are probably new since you were here last. So either module one or two kind of look in it, look in those. And it's just like, when is it S and when is it Z? And I, I do like a video lesson and have some worksheets with that. Okay. Yes. For example, in those, uh, at the end, I know it's a Z sound. Those. Uh, mm -hmm. When I hear it from native speakers, I don't know. I, I think that it may sound more like an S. Yeah. In connected speech, sometimes it depends on what is after it, what's it before, you know, like what, 
mostly what's after it. Um, like those of us, those of us are, are, who are here or um, get me some of those, you know, it might sound a little bit more voiceless. Um, a lot of our Spanish speakers though is, tend to de-voice a lot more than they voice. And so you have to be aware that there are some words that really do need to be voiced into that Z sound. And I put the most common words that need to be voiced in that worksheet, okay? So just okay. being aware of those most common words are gonna help you a lot.